guys, this is Dormouse03, and I'm back. So, I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about where I have been for such a long period of time, what was happening, why YouTube kind of fell on the back burner for me, and what the state of the channel is moving forward. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you so much for those of you who were still with me after that long period of time. You know, it was really heartening to see that there were folks when I started posting again who were ready and willing to watch my content. You know, I was somewhat concerned that I was gone for such a long time and no one would be here anymore. And I was actually kind of surprised to see that folks still were. And, you know, I know that probably some people have gotten disinterested, people have fallen off, but it just gives me hope and encourages me to continue going with this thing because there are some people out there who are still wanting and, and maybe needing something to watch and someone to interact with and someone to help them out with an achievement or a trophy or two. And I want to get back into that and restart our community here. And so thank you guys so much, both folks who have been with me for a while and folks who are just joining. Thank you so much for being here. And so where have I been for the past almost two years? So that story starts in November 2017. That was right after Thanksgiving, the end of November of that year my mom and I found out that a cancer that she had had about two or three years prior that she had recovered from had recurred and it was a really really hard period of time in my life I would say probably the hardest period of time I've ever had in my life and it was stressful for a number of reasons you know the biggest part was emotional they did not estimate a very good outcome even with treatment for her and so we were just trying to give her as good of a quality of life as we could for as long as we could and so I was working full-time and I was taking mom to all of her doctor's appointments and chemotherapy appointments and radiation appointments and trying to help her kind of understand and process what was going on and try to be there to support her emotionally and just try to spend some time together, you know? And it was hard and it took its toll on both of us. and things just got very very stressful there were not any other family members or any of mom's close friends who were here we were kind of states away from other people that could have potentially helped and so that kind of left everything to fall to me and it was really overwhelming and it was around that time when YouTube just had to go on the back burner for me. You know, I tried to continue to put things out a little bit at a time. I tried to put things out that I had finished, you know, and that I had already recorded and edited, but it just got to be too much, and YouTube was the thing that kind of had to fall by the wayside. And I thought about doing a video kind of like this, explaining what was going on to you guys, but it was just, it was so hard for me to talk about without becoming way too emotional that, that I, I just didn't feel comfortable doing that on a video. It, it felt almost exploitative, like I was asking for pity or something rather than support. And it just wasn't, I wasn't in a place where I wanted to put out that kind of video to you guys. And so... I didn't and unfortunately that just kind of left everything at a halt I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to get back to things I had hope that I would be able to get back to things a lot sooner than I did but I just a series of things happened that kind of prevented that from happening so first and foremost in September of 2018 my mom did pass away 
from cancer. And that was an incredibly difficult time for me. I had a lot of things that I had to take care of, both you know, financial and wrapping up her estate and things and trying to, to deal with all of her belongings and just everything and try to set things up and, and take care of her as best as I could. And I was kind of by myself on that too. And then I was just trying to take care of myself emotionally and survive that and grieve and get through that period of time. And so I took some time after that and it, I really needed it to, as I said, get back in a, in a place emotionally where I felt okay to even talk about it, to be able to have this conversation with you guys. And so last summer, summer 2019, I felt like, okay, you know, it's been almost a year. I'm ready to get back into things. I feel better. I was in a better place. And then a couple of things happened. So my Yeti microphone, the pins in the USB drive inside of the microphone got messed up. And so the connections were bad. And so it had this really bad feedback noise. It is a little bit, you can notice it in a couple of my last videos that I recorded. You know, you can hear it coming in and out. There's this just sort of feedback whine. And that just got worse and worse and worse. I couldn't fix it. And I was going to need to buy a new mic. And, you know, you guys know that a good quality mic like that is not cheap. And so that was an investment that I had to consider making. And then not too long after that, my computer died. And I tried to fix it myself a couple of times. I felt like I was at a point where I might be able to fix it. And I just couldn't do it and it was a bust. But I was able to extract most of my files off of that computer, which I was pretty proud that I was actually able to do that with no operating system. So that, well, that was a good moment. And so a lot of the content that I had already recorded, I was able to extract off of that, which was very positive. But nevertheless, the computer was dead and I needed to kind of wait until I had the resources to be able to either fix that or purchase a new computer. And so at the end of last year, I purchased a new laptop and just a little bit ago, I purchased a new microphone. And after both of those things were in place, I said, you know, okay, you know, maybe I am ready to get back into this thing. And also Iron Praetorian, uh, my friend was like, hey, why don't you post that last video that I know that you have for The Evil Within? You should do that. And <laughs> so he kind of gave me a little bit of a push to get back on. So you can thank him for me actually being back on YouTube. The thing that I miss most about YouTube is the community here that we have. There are a lot of toxic places on the internet and there are a lot of toxic people on YouTube, but I think we have been able to carve out a pretty respectful little small community um, between some of us and that's really, really nice. I enjoy helping people. I enjoy entertaining people. I enjoy interacting with people and that's really the main things that I have missed uh, being away. And so I'm really looking forward to getting back into it. I have a setup now that's going to work. I do believe, knock on wood, let's hope nothing else goes wrong. Uh, but I do think that I have everything sorted out at this moment. And I'm ready to get back into this thing. So I'm <laughs> 10 chapters into The Evil Within 2. And <laughs> so now I get to kind of pick things back up where I left off. I've been working on the next levels. And so I should be able to have those recorded and edited and get them posting here within the next week or two. And so you have that to look forward to. I really, really am looking forward to finishing that 100% guide because I hate to put up a 100% guide that's only like 60% done. I think that that's kind of crap. And so I'm looking forward to getting that done. I know that in a couple of the comments, we kind of mentioned a few things and I mentioned the Mooncrash DLC for Prey and I played that 
about a month ago maybe and I actually really enjoyed it and so some folks were saying that they would really like to see a guide for that because I think a lot of folks actually found me with my prey guide and so I would be quite quite happy to do a 100% guide for the Mooncrash DLC for Prey because once again I said I, I really liked it. Surprisingly enough I was kind of concerned about it being kind of a, a challenge mode because some, you never know what you're going to get with those kinds of DLCs you know. Sometimes you get something really fun that really catches you and you like a lot and sometimes you get Dunwall City Trials for Dishonored and you want to stab yourself in the eyeballs seven million times until you die. So I was hesitant going in but I was really pleasantly surprised with that DLC and I would have no problem playing back through it and recording a guide for you for that. So those are the kind of the things that I'm thinking of doing first. I do have a couple of things already recorded that I was able to extract off of my um, old uh, footage. And so I have a co-op playthrough that Iron Praetorian and I did for Far Cry 5, and I have a co-op playthrough that he and I did for Dark Souls Remastered. And so those are things I, I think I said to, uh, to someone in the comment section that I'm more interested in doing the Dark Souls playthrough than the Far Cry playthrough, at least, you know, getting those put up first. Just because I enjoy, I personally, I love Dark Souls and that playthrough was super fun. Far Cry 5 was fun enough, but it wasn't my favorite game. And so I probably, out of those two, I probably will post Dark Souls before I post Far Cry 5. But since I've got the footage for Far Cry 5, I might as well go ahead and try to post that too. And so I have a pretty decent amount of content that I can put out for you guys uh, pretty quickly hopefully and we can get back into a routine of having weekly content which is what I really want to do and from there who knows so if you guys have suggestions of things that you would like to see me play that you would like to see guides for things that you might need help with things that you would just like to see on the channel let me know I can't guarantee anything, I can't make promises that I'm going to, you know, do everything that's suggested because there's time and money and my own sanity to consider with things, but I highly, highly encourage you to just let me know, throw things out there, things that you would like to see, things that you would need help with, and I'll see what I can do, folks. I am looking forward to getting back into doing some discussion videos, some podcasts, because I really enjoy putting those opinions out there or putting, posing those questions to you guys and, you know, seeing what you guys come up with, seeing your opinions and seeing your feedback and having discussions with you. I think that that is one of my favorite parts of this channel, and I hope that you guys enjoy those kinds of things too, because I would love to really get back into doing some of those in addition to the guides and the playthroughs and whatnot. So let me know what you guys would like to see. Let me know what you guys missed or didn't miss. <laughs> you know, things that maybe you don't want to see more of. I think that would be perfectly fine as well. Again, I make no guarantees. I do this content for you guys, but I do it for myself too. It's a hobby for me. Uh, it's not something that I have ever really uh, made a ton of money for and you know that's ne that was never the intention and so this isn't something where I'm getting paid to do things and so I'm beholden to any type of sponsorships or timelines or deadlines or any of that kind of stuff this is kind of just what I'm interested in doing and what you guys are interested in seeing what you guys are needing and us kind of working together to have some cool content so thank you guys for watching again i appreciate the support i appreciate the folks who stuck with me and i appreciate the new folks who have just found me you know this channel is meant to be something of a community where we interact and, and have fun so truly thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one